All right, so a lot of people ask the question about trucking, about the freight broker business. Is it going to be around, right? Has it seen its best days? For the last 30, 40, 50 years, there's been some great opportunities within the trucking business, within the freight broker world. Um, but now things are changing. The business, the industry is evolving, right? And it's always done that, right? That's just how it works. Things change as time goes on. And we live in America. We live in a capitalistic society where that's how it works. Capitalism promotes competition, right? That's what it's all about. People, businesses competing for the business of other people, right? And how you do that is get better and better and better. You do what somebody else is doing, but you do it better. You do it faster. You do it more efficiently. Right. So it's all about competition. So the spirit of competition is what drives innovation is how I see it. Right. So will it be the same opportunities? No, the opportunities will change. They won't be exactly the same as they have been. Probably, you know, that would be a, a good guess, I think. Uh, at the same time, I think what you also have to look at is the changes that are taking place, right? And how it impacts your current business model. For example, people talk about digital freight and they say, oh, digital freight is taking over and there won't be a need for freight brokers after some time, right? And maybe there won't be a need for freight brokers after some time, but that's just like trying to say when the stock market is going to crash. There's a lot of people out there that guess. There's a lot of people that come up with, oh, it's going to do this at this time. So you just keep, get to keep guessing. And if you keep guessing at some point, you might get it right. But <laughs> I don't think that we are in the very near future facing uh, extinct, extinction as brokers. I don't see that at all as traditional freight brokers. Do I think that your business model has to change? Of course it does. It has to evolve. It has to get better. It ha you have to you know, do things more from a technological standpoint and being able to move loads faster, being able to quote loads faster to your shippers, right? Uh, being able to go direct to LTL carriers and get rates much faster, right? So it's a, it's a lot of different ways that you upgrade your business and you make it a more digital business. You're still a tr traditional freight brokerage, but you have digital features within that business. And as it pertains to truck drivers, when we look at it and people say, oh, okay, so autonomous trucks are going to take over for current truck drivers. Now, I want you to think about that. How many autonomous trucks do you see right now in 2022 on the roads every day? Not very many. I don't think I've ever seen one. Right. I've seen one on on the Internet, on videos, but I've never seen a uh, an autonomous truck. How, how long do you think it's going to take to get those trucks at scale? It's going to take some time. Right. And I think people more so look at business long range in their minds when they're saying, oh, I'm going to come into the business. How much time do I have? Twenty. I need to go into something with 20 or 30 years. Well, I think it's important to look at it and understand that businesses for the most part 90 percent of businesses are not going to last 10 years right but the question to me is what do you do within those 10 years you know people say oh brandon you don't have much time left as a freight broker well i've been a freight broker now for almost 10 years <laughs> so if i don't have much time left i've done quite well in the time that i've had right so you know if it's not available in 10 years to be a freight broker then you know, I don't plan on being around that long anyway. I will have come to do something else before that time comes. So I'm not much at all concerned about whether the freight brokerage business will be here the next 10, 15 or 20 years or not. If it is, it is. If it doesn't, then you do something different. But you'll do something different probably a long time before the freight broker business on the traditional side goes out of style. So as you can probably tell, I'm not in the camp of people that think that truck drivers, traditional freight brokers will be replaced anytime soon. I think mass adoption of this type of technology, autonomous trucks, um, that's going to take some time. 
And when you look at a digital freight brokerage and a traditional freight brokerage, there's really not much difference when traditional freight brokerages start to update the services that they provide. Not a whole lot of difference at all. So it's still freight brokering at the end of the day. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Certainly hope this information has been helpful. If you're interested in learning more about the freight broker business, you know what we do. We have a five video series. It's titled How the Load Movement Process Works. It gives you a chance to watch me move loads, talk to shippers and carriers so that you can see how the business works before you start to come into it. And then if you're interested in learning more about how we go out and find customers, because that's the key part of this business, finding customers, finding the shippers to give you those opportunities that you are eventually earn those opportunities to move their freight. I'll leave a free video right here showing you exactly how we do it. So until the next time, I wish you the very best in your life and business. I'll see you at the top of the mountain because the bottom is much too crowded.